Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. In today's video, we are going to control Slackware from our t phone or tablet. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are on our Linux desktop. Make sure you're booted into KDE. So, yeah. And now, we're just going to open GSLAP and check something real quick. If the newest version of KDE Connect Android app doesn't detect your computer, then you might have to get an older version. That's what I had to do, at least. So now we'll, we're just going to wait for that to load. I just like switching between desktops because this animation is cool. All right, let's stay on desktop one. And that's where I am, right? Okay. Um anyway, we're going to do KDE connect. All right. See version 0.8, that's what we're going to want. Well, not really cuz it's not the new version, but that's what we have. So, you might have to get an older version of the Android app that it's compatible with version 0.8. Um okay. All of a sudden, I notice a kind of a slowdown, a big slowdown when I'm using a screen recorder. It's annoying, but you know, screen recorders take up like half your CPU. Um, at least on this old computer, they do. So anyway, now we're gonna open up our tablet and/or phone. All right. Hi tablet, here we are. So, gonna requ request pairing. You know, it'll be on our desktop. We're just gonna click accept. Okay, now I'm going to send a ping. Doesn't make any sense. It just, that's it. It's just a ping. Like, wow. But let's try sending some files. I'll send a song. Why not? All right, see, now it is uh downloading. Now I think it's finished. I'll open Dolphin. Okay. Hurry it up, I want to. Oh, it's done. Okay, um, here we go. Now, I hate the slowdown on, um, screen recorders. Anyway, so here is our file. Just so I'm not gonna actually play it. Actually, I'll play. I'll just. Turn everything down. I don't get why it keeps asking me to do that. I will just use M player. Okay. All right, so as you can see, it's playing. Oh my gosh. Like, there we go. <laughs> okay, 
So now it's still playing. I think we're going to click multimedia control. Really? No players found. That you got. So that doesn't doing that does not do anything. Really? No commands registered. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's do remote control. I'll close out this window. Or just do it myself. Because that kind of takes a long time. Um, let's try the keyboard. The keyboard is probably more useful if if you'd you know if you want to actually carry your keyboard around like I can type on my couch from I mean even though this is a laptop but still um okay load low 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 load so let's click that sure so where's the new note thing. That is weird. Where did that new note button go? So now it's turning like that. What is it doing? Let's try that again. I swear, like, screen recorders mess up everything. Let me, like, slow your system performance to a crawl, even on Linux. It's usually so much faster than this. There we... What? Oh. That's it? Just that button? Wow. I just don't know how to use the app. Alright, let's see. Hi. Your Kindle. Hi. This actually seems to be working. Let's try that again. Oh. What? Did it say something? Something like your device is unreachable. Anyway, let's try this again. There we go. Hi. This is your Kindle Fire. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Hello. Hi. Oh, and now I have to. Okay, so it seems like my tablet is somehow just not wanting to connect to the internet for whatever weird reason. Hi. There we go. Anyway. So, yeah, that is KDE Connect. And as you can see, we have controlled our Slackware system using our tablet. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video.